Okay, hello. Um, some of you may know me or not. That's why I shortly introduce myself. I'm Gerd Schlotter. I'm at the SUSE for nearly four, uh, five years, and I'm working as an open SUSE admin since two years. You can reach me for uh, in uh, the uh, IRC under Gerd Schlotter in some channels like OpenSUSE admin and OpenSUSE mirrors, and also per mails with uh, Gerd Schlotter at OpenSUSE.org, SUSE.com, and so on. For well, the first point of the infrastructure would be who are the people who manage all this stuff? So, we are, I give you some names. Markus Rückert, who, is, who seems not to be here today, sadly, also known as Starix, I think one of the longest OpenSUSE admin members. Then Lars Vogt, who is my boss. <laughs> um, he also provides the monitoring for OpenSUSE and also fixes a lot of stuff for the servers. Next one is Theo. He is our pra uh, one of our pra colleagues. He is the master of all this puppet and salt stuff we are running there. Then we have Adrian Schröter. He must be here somewhere too. He's like the OBS mastermind. So uh, if something is related to uh, OBS, he's like one of the contact guys. The next one on the list is Henne Vogelsson. He is the mailing list administrator and the guy responsible for the server there. Then Stefan Kulo. Who, who is helping with the OBS and OpenQA. Then the last pra colleague, Martin Chai, who is doing the video stuff here today and also taking care of the mirror setup in OpenSUSE. And, oh, I, yeah. Then Ludwig Nussel, who is the Guy responsible at the moment for OpenQA. I think many of you should know him also. And there are many more people, so uh, don't blame me if I forgot someone or didn't mention it. If I would say everyone, we would sit here tomorrow, I think. Then, what hardware do we run? I've got some pictures from some of the server servers there in our server room, from storage to build workers to our VMs. Lots of many machines are there located. And some specific, more specific stuff. We run at the moment 12 real machines. Last year it was around 17. So we um, moved some old ones there to some other locations. Or priorities, around 130 build workers for um, build OpenSUSE org, so OBS and OpenQA. Last year it was around 96, so you can guess where some of the old hardware machines went. And we have 16 virtual machines at the moment. Last year it was 26. So the functions that the servers we moved out had are now all virtualized. We also have lots of switches in use with many different VLANs. And we have also have in Nuremberg one external server called Async OpenSUSE Org in a different location if worst case and our office is completely shut down. And we have from SUSE sponsored around 40 terabytes of FC storage so that we can run, download OpenSUSE and so on. And we switched in the last year from a one gigabit interconnect between all the servers to a 10 gigabit interconnect so that we can sync data faster and so on. 
Then we have some setup in Provo. It's a cluster of around three machines. Uh, on these servers run uh, services like www and wiki, lizards and so on. But they're not managed by Zuse and community yet. We try to change it in the next year. Then some of the highlights of these services. <clears throat> the first one is Mirrorbrain. You should know it as download OpenSUSE.org. You uh, maybe don't notice it because Mirrorbrain switches um, if you try to access download OpenSUSE.org via zipper or something else. It switches, it switches to the next best mirror to, of your location so that you have the better connection at, that we don't have a shutdown because too many people are trying to access our download server. The next one is the open build service. In the, me, in the last year it grew a bit. Minimal. <laughs> um, yeah, it builds around nearly 300,000 packages in the meantime. And it started to build even S390 since this year, but not with high priority at the moment. So in like next year, we will be able to build uh, OpenSUSE completely for S390. Next one will be our virtualization platform where you have all these standard services like software, OpenSUSE org, and else running, so even Connect runs there. It was once called Alice in Wonderland from an, let's say, historic reason. And it's planned to be a cloud in the future so that the people or the community who needs a new VM can create it themselves there and don't need to write tickets and so on. Then we ha still have some more, so let's say smaller services which run there. <clears throat> Many of them are, or part of them are in Provo, part in Nuremberg. So the plan is in the future that we can move all the, VM, uh, all the services between Provo, Nuremberg and maybe other locations in the future when we want or when we need it. So like if one, let's say one server room will be shut down for some reason, then we can move everything to a different location and nearly have no downtime to completely no downtime. Then what is our operating system? Okay, shame on us, we only use less, not OpenSUSE, but at least we have it at the latest versions and with the latest updates on it. And we also have around more than 400 special packages only for this um, infrastructure. Because we uh, want to have for each service and package that we can better run or administrate these services so that we don't need to download a tarball or something like that or change the, change the configs files after we updated the service. Yeah. Okay. Some information about OpenQA and, o, uh, and the OBS in the last year. There were some bigger changes. One is that the main machines of the OpenQA and OpenBuild service are now completely virtualized. That means we have for, open, uh, for OBS at least an uh, own cluster which runs there with uh, something like one and a half terabyte RAM that the OBS have enough power. And OpenQA got a completely new network design because around uh, this time last year, the uh, tests couldn't even reach internet or www.opensuse.org. And in the meantime, it is possible. It's even behind a proxy though that we have a better secure there. And of course, we got more workers for them. 
we got around, I think it was more than 100 workers only for the OBS, and there must be like six or eight workers for the OpenQA. Some challenges for the future for us admins. I have there some bug, okay, wasn't planned, then I need to improvise it. <clears throat> One plan for the future is to have an automated system so that we can say we need to update everything, we don't need to update everything manually or even we want to set up a new VM with the same data. So we want to have a configuration management system for each VM online. So at the moment we still run Puppet on the machines we changed last year. In the future it should be solved. To check all the versions, we also have a GitLab instance, um, reachable via GitLab OpenSUSE org, where we uh, check everything in and correct the, the work of the other admins. Then some other topic for the future is called Mirror Pinky, which is still in uh, work in progress there. Mirror Pinky should replace the work we have with all the mirrors, like we changed an IP address, can you change it in your files, or we need access for an additional server, we need more, uh, we, um, did, can we get less bandwidth and so on, that the mirrors can administrate themselves in the database there. And the big topic which I already said is we try to, we will try to run cloud in the future <clears throat> so that we, that VMs can be created by the community themselves and not only by the admins. We need to figure out some fine, uh, fine last details there. But at the moment it looks good from the planning and the test configuration we already had. This setup should start in Provo then, where we also try to migrate wiki, www, Bugzilla and so on to the, uh, to the new cluster there, that we have a complete own hardware for OpenSUSE and don't need to wait for other people to have time to administrate it, which we have at the moment some problems there. I think that is some of the biggest changes, uh, biggest plans for the future. Then, um, <clears throat> if you have some questions about the topics right now, you can ask it if you want. From an admin perspective, what community help uh, do you need and what are you willing to accept? So if, if somebody from the community want to assist with the admin side of things to alleviate your pressure, how is it, how easy is it to get involved? Okay. Theo has the answer, it looks like. Yeah. So, uh, from community perspective, we are willing to accept any help that we can get. We have already some external contributors that they are working on fixing tickets here and there. Not something very big. And the most important problem that we have right now is that we have some network restrictions because of some machines that are still in Provo. So, we cannot accept full external contributor, like a full administrator, because of parts being inside SUSE. We are doing a oh, very good progress of moving those services outside. This is, uh, <coughs> sorry. This is where I spend most of my time, actually, the past two years in the, in the team, on pushing services outside. 
and I plan to have it finished soon so we can actually send a, like a big announcement that we can accept full external contributors. But even now, if somebody wants to reach us and help with administration tasks, we have plenty of work to give to external people without even giving them full access to something. So if you, can reach, if you want to reach us, you can reach us either in ARC or in Open Source Admin or in our mail, and we can get your help. You, s you said that you will set up a cloud. Do you use OpenStack Cloud or what kind? Of um, it will be a SUSE cloud, it, it is, as, is a, as it is planned for the moment. So you don't so use... So based on OpenStack, yes. Yeah, that's clear. But so you don't say, we from the OpenSUSE community take the real OpenStack Cloud from the OpenStack community. You stick... Okay, thanks. So, so you said you use 400 additional packages on top of SLES? Yes. Do you, uh, where do you maintain those? And maybe you could contribute those to Package Hub? Or at least part of those? Um, can you repeat the second part, please? So, uh, my question was, since you have to maintain 400 additional packages for SLES, which are not part of SLES, uh, where do you maintain those? Maybe on OBS, I don't know. And if so, it would be nice to contribute those who, which can be used by other people in open source backports, or also known as package up forceless. <clears throat> yeah, at the moment we are maintaining them in the um, Intel uh, Enterprise Build Service, which we had at SUSE. Um, I think we can create something like a project for in the OBS for that, so that the community can better check something like this in it. And um, at the moment, it's like we are around 10 people or so which are maintaining these packages. Um, when are we going to pull the plug on all the bit rotting applications that we have? Like the wiki, the mailing lists, connect, WordPress. And I know that you care more of the application level, but... Um, I didn't understand it completely. Um... When are we going to turn off the infrastructure that isn't working anymore. <clears throat> we just tried to have the wiki workshop in the in the in the room above and you can't edit, move or whatever to a wiki page. No. Yeah, wiki it's is broken. at the moment a special case because also of the spam which are going on there. Um, the biggest problem is that we can, that the OpenSUSE admins here in Nuremberg and Prague cannot log into Wiki because it's matched from Microfocus IT. And so we need to do something there. We need to wait for a response from them. That's the reason why we try to um, get it under our hands. And then you will take care also of the application level, so problems with the actual applications and not the underlying OS. Then we will try to get rid of every problems we have there. Okay. In one of your previous slides, uh, you had a line, OBS now knows how to be idle. What exactly does that mean? Because it sounds an awful lot like humans know now how to be lazy. Um, you mean this slide? Next. That one. OBS knows how to idle. What is that? Uh, 
as, as Gerd does not seem to know the answer, um, before we added these other 30 workers, build service was never idle. It, has always, it had always some backlog to build and outside of the Christmas week. And now that we added these additional workers, or Suse sponsored these additional workers, I should say, I guess, um, suddenly we have every weekend uh, an idle build service, which means we have really no package that could be built, which was never the case before. Thanks for the presentation. If we wouldn't have other questions. Uh, I still would have some slides. <laughs> the next part of my would be, I don't have the slide either. Um, if you have some ideas or tips what we can do in the future, or which services do you think would be best that we need to create or should look at it if you want to create it and use it? So, no one? Okay, then if you have some questions later, you can join uh, in the, on the Freenode IRC, open me the admin and ping me there or uh, write your message. My client is logged in there all the time, so I get the message even if I'm not working there at the moment. Thank you. <laughs>